Welcome back. Again, my guest is Mary Beth Luffglass, Chief Information Officer with Fairfax County Schools. Now we're going to take your mom hat off and put your Chief Technology Officer hat on. And let's talk technology here in Fairfax County. Um, in the video we watched earlier, we, uh, educators were checking for knowledge. So how is, how is technology used to check for knowledge? We have a great new application that we've been putting in place for the last couple of years called eCart which is an electronic curriculum assessment resource tool. And it's a tool for our teachers and our students to be able to check for knowledge. You can do things such as short five minute types, five question little assessments to see if our kids are getting the information that there's being covered in the curriculum. It's a great opportunity and if they're not understanding it, we have direct links to additional resources that teachers can use, additional lesson plans and strategies to help students perhaps learn a different way. Yeah, now I understand that part of the power of eCart is the teachers develop the questions that are used in the banks that are contained in eCart. Right. We have, we have test questions that are made available that they can start with, but they can create their own questions. They can also share those questions with other teachers in their professional learning communities within their schools. And also we have questions that can be shared across the county and across the district. If we have an opportunity to share the great best practices that teachers have in one school with, with teachers in another school. Mm -hmm. That's really very powerful when teachers Absolutely. share uh, particularly their best practices. Um, we're ready to dismiss for the summer and um, the, the summer stretches out before many kids and parents and um, one of the options that kids can do is take an online course. So how does your department support that online learning? The online campus does not take the summer off. Uh, we have many, many courses that are available for students to either to take up, make up a class or to get ahead. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of opportunities, primarily in the high school level, to take lots of different online courses. What we do in information technology is to make sure all that technology is up and running, making sure that our Blackboard systems, which is what the, the online campus uses, are available for our students and our teachers and our parents. We also make sure we do a lot of upgrades of infrastructure over the summer. So we need to add wireless infrastructure as more and more devices come onto our system and we enhance our systems. We enhance, put new upgrades of systems on in the summer. So IT does not take the summer off. IT is very, very busy in the summer to make sure our technology is available when and where we need it. Absolutely. And we, it seems like we need a 24-7 when we, we do use a 24-7. Um, you've been at FCPS for how long? In Ten years. Okay, so you have seen a lot of changes over time. Exactly. So let's kind of look ahead into the future, into our crystal ball, and what do you predict for trends in the future with educational technology? One of the big things and the big trends in technology, we are really starting to see more and more of our students use the devices they already own mm -hmm in our schools mm -hmm. and we are looking to embrace our students to bring in whatever devices they may have whether they're you know laptops or netbooks or iPads or whatever they have we're building the infrastructure in our system to make sure that kids don't have to just turn off their devices as soon as they they walk through the school the school building doors we want and we're working with our teachers to embrace the use of the existing technology that many of our students have in the classrooms. That's very exciting. It, that is exciting. I don't, I'm not aware that many districts are actually doing that. Are you aware? We're trying to be a trendsetter. Many of the technologies that we've had over the years, we've been sort of the first ones out there. And so we're looking at using those technologies. We're also looking at online textbooks and online curriculum. Mm -hmm. And because more and more of our curriculum is online, we really want our students to be able to access that 24-7. And part of that 24-7 is inside our classrooms and inside our school buildings. Yeah, now I know that one of your sons, uh, or, or maybe it was Jacob, took the algebra uh, class online. And, and, and instead of being a very isolated experience, it, was, it, it really connected him with the teacher and the other kids who were taking that class, which fascinated me. Exactly. Both, actually, two of my sons have taken online classes and online classes, and it's been an absolutely incredible experience. And you would think that maybe online class is just reading questions and doing it self-paced, but it is very interactive. Kids are able to IM and chat with each other electronically, which is the way they do their mm -hmm. social as their social connectivity. So similar to Facebook, where the kids are constantly online, taking an online class uses a lot of those same technologies. And it's technologies the students are already comfortable with. So just taking and putting an a course in that same environment is very natural for them. It took no training for, that, for the students to take those online classes. They knew exactly what to do the first night they were on the class. It's really a great opportunity. Oh, that's terrific. It almost makes me want to take an online class. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for being with us. It's been a pleasure.